Welcome. We have huge news revolving around two new graphics cards brought to you by Team Green. The hard-hitting new RTX 3080 Ti and the new value king, the RTX 3060 12 gigabyte. Coming up, we're going to dive into these upcoming releases, but first, let's spin that intro. Pew. All right, let's quickly go over the RTX 3080 Ti and the RTX 3060 12 gigabyte editions. And here's all of our beautiful different variants of cards. Can't confirm these are the actual versions that we will be getting for the 3080 Ti or the new 3060, but these are the classic models for the 30 series as it stands. So confirmation, a number of sources have revealed that these do in fact exist. Uh, about a month ago, HP first revealed them in a driver release where it uh, showed the 3080 Ti uh, 20 gigabyte and also the 3060 non-Ti 12 gigabyte. Um, then more recently, Asus had recently put it on their site in a drop down menu. Um, where you could actually select the cards, although it didn't actually go to the, the card pages. It just had it on the drop-down as selectable, and it did show, in fact, the 28, or the 3080 Ti with the 20 gigabytes and the 3060 12 gigabytes. Then the more concrete uh, is the registration with the EEC, the Eurasian Economic Commission, where Gigabyte has 13 different variants of the 3080 Ti 20 gigabyte and six different variants of the 3060 12 gigabyte cards all listed. Um, generally, this happens right before these go into production or right, at, right as they start production on these, they have to go ahead and get them registered to have them ready for release when that time does come around. Um, there's been so many sources now that have revealed these two specific cards such as Tom's Hardware, uh, PC Mag, Hot Hardware, Video Cards, Tech Power Up, Guru 3D, and a ton more. Um, I've had a number of people, specifically in discords, combating me saying, oh, these cards probably don't exist, or where are you getting these resources? Oh, it was just Asus. And no, it wasn't just Asus. There's multiple sources. These are coming. It will be a 3080 Ti 20 gigabyte variant and a 3060 12 gigabyte rather. So here are the specs that have been leaked out on the TI, 3080 Ti, 20 gigabytes GDDR6X. It's gonna have a slightly lower memory speed than the 3090. It will have 19 gigabytes a second of memory, um, 320 bit memory throughput, which is slightly cut down from the 384 bit bus of the 3090. The shader cores are the same as the RTX 3090. The memory clocks are going to be slightly lower than the 3090. So it's basically going to be a cut down 3090 with, slow, with lower memory throughput and a lower bus um, to get slightly lower performance than a 3090 but should be significantly more than a 3080 plus it's going to have clear up to the 20 gigabytes. So let's discuss the performance on the 3080 Ti, which I was just going into. It's definitely going to be slotted in between the 3080 and the 3090. It's going to, which both already smash all the previous generations, the 2080 Ti can't even hold a candle to a 3080 since the, 20, uh, the 2080 Super is actually online with a 3060 Ti. Um, we got the teraflops estimated of 34.3 whereas the 3080 only gives 29.8 um, and the 3090 gives around 36. So it's closer to the 3090 than it will be to the 3080. And again, the shader cores are the same as the 3090. The big difference is of course going to be the bus and the memory clocks and the throughput. Um, so 
Here is a demographic that I pulled off the Video Cards website discussing the new 3080 Ti architecture, and we're going to go back over the specs real quick. It shows our core count of 10496, which is the same as the 3090. The other key we're going to have is the lower boost clock and most likely lower base clock than the 3090. It's going to have the 20 gigabytes GDDR6X, as we stated. The memory clock is going to be slightly lower at 90. 18 gigabytes per second. It's going to have less memory bandwidth than the 3090 and a lower memory bus of 320 rather than the 384 on the 3090. Let's go in, jump into the 3060 specs. We're going to have 12 gigabytes GDDR6. The shader count is estimated at 38. 40, which is actually about a thousand less than the 3060 Ti. So the 3060 Ti has 4864, whereas we're going down to 3840. The bit bus is going to be 192, whereas the Ti has 256. So the clock is going to be around 1627 with a boost of 1852. So it's actually going to have a little slightly less uh, throughput. It's going to have a thousand less shader cores and and it's going to have probably a slightly lower clock on it. Um, there has been a very interesting rumor that I not necessarily can um, confirm since it's only been on one or two si sources that I could find, is that they were going to treat this card, the 3060, much like the old GTX 1060, where they came out with a 3 gigabyte and a 6 gigabyte variant to um, cut down cost for different levels of gaming. Um, Igor's lab, which is a very trusted source, has mentioned that there is a possibility that they do this, but more within a 6 gigabyte variant for the 3060 and a 12 gigabyte variant for the 3060. That would be a pretty interesting approach, and I think it would cover a lot more gamers in a lower market, and then you could have about a $50 price offset. Um, not sure if that's actually going to fly. I haven't found enough sources to actually go out on a limb and say that's true. Um, so then let's continue on to the RTX 3060. It will equal the 2070 Super, which makes complete sense since the 3060 Ti equals the 2080 Super. Um, it's going to have the direct competitor of the new RX 6700 slash 6700 XT. Um, they're also rumored to have 12 gigabyte memory and a 192 bit memory interface. Um, it's going to have 1,000 lower shaders than the 3060 Ti, as I mentioned, and a lower bus, but most likely still around a 20-ish um, percent performance hit between the 3060 Ti and the 3060. Um, it's projected at 14.2 teraflops, whereas the 3060 Ti has 16 teraflops. Um, and here is a quick chart on the projected numbers. I believe this one also came from video cards. So here's the key spec differences. We're gonna have the thousand less cores between the 3060 and the 3060 Ti. It also lists the 3070 up here, which is a, a large step above. Um, the memory capacity of 12 gigabytes DDR6 compared to eight gigabytes DDR6 in the 3060 Ti, which would make sense if they dropped a 3060 with six gigabytes as well to slot below it in the memory um, slower memory bus at 192 bandwidth is going to be lower at 384 price msrp um, they are targeting the 300 dollar range which would make complete sense since the 399 dollar range on the msrp on a 3060 ti um, let's jump into the mining performance. This is the, the fun nerdy part. The RTX 3080 Ti will possibly get a slight bump above the 3080. Um, I'm going to guesstimate between 90 and 100 mega hash a second on Ethereum because that's all we care about for the most part. Um, the RTX 3060 should probably pop in around 25% less performance, but that would still target us around a 45 mega hash on ETH. That is great profitability. If your cost is around 350, that's still going to be an amazing value, but the 3060 Ti would stay the king. If your cost is down at 300, then this will definitely be in contention for the most efficient cards for mining 
seen in the entire marketplace. Here again is our cost prediction, RTX 3060 12 gigabyte, 350 for a base model. In comparison, the RTX 2070 released at 599 on their heyday. The RTX 2070 Super was actually released at 499. Whereas the RTX 3060, we are projecting a six gigabyte at 300 if they make the six gigabyte base model. The RTX 3080 Ti, we are looking at a target of 1000 to 1200 for a base model. In reference, the 3080 is currently at a $700 MSRP and the 3090 at a whopping mind blowing $1500. So if you're getting near 3090 performance at only a thousand dollars with the new 3080 Ti It is a no-brainer. It's going to be impossible to buy because they're going to be such an amazing value compared to the 3080 and the 3090 so when are the release timeframes? They are projected to release at mid to late quarter one of 2021. All eyes on the January 12th GeForce event for the update. We are most likely going to get some information following this January 12th presentation by Nvidia. So hopefully they tell us, yes, these do exist and these are in production. Do not expect these cards to find their way to shelves, to markets before Chinese New Year. Chinese New Year is February 11th through the 17th. Uh, I would more expect late February, early March for these to be in the hands of the public. Reality check, best part. Availability, a hyperinflated seller's market 25% to 50% markup is what is occurring in the market. There is a terrible supply, there's huge demand, there is scarcity, which is equaling insane prices. Can we actually get these cards in our hands? That is the question. We are hoping that by March, the market starts to stabilize, but as it looks right now, we are not getting close to that. Bots are still buying, bots are crushing us, people are getting alerts, people are on discords, people are following YouTube. We are all trying to get our hands on the current 30 series cards and it is not working very well. So taking all that into account, more cards are gonna be into the market. Can you get them? Can you get them at MSRP? Fingers crossed, let's all work together. Let's get these cards down. Well, there you have it. A brand new big boy card, as well as a value performance king, both brought to you by Team Green. Were you able to pick up any of the new 30 series cards? If you were, go ahead and comment down below. Tell us about what you got, where you got it, and how you got it, and maybe even how much you paid. Everybody wants to know. Make sure you check out our 30 series buying guide, and hopefully that can help you to acquire a 30 series card as well. If you got any entertainment out of this video, if you enjoyed it at all, or if you just feel like it, make sure to smash that like button and follow us for future content. Thanks for coming along and enjoy the ride. Pshaw.